वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम फोर डैश सिक्सटीन सो स्टेटमेंट इज द हैंगर कंसिस्ट ऑफ थ्री टू ट्वेंटी फोर्टी फोर्टीन टी सिक्स एल्यूमिनियम एलॉय रॉड रिजिड बीम ए सी एंड बी डी एंड स्प्रिंग इफ द हुक सपोर्ट्स अ लोड ऑफ सिक्सटी किलो न्यूट्रन डिटरमाइन द वर्टिकल डिसप्लेसमेंट ऑफ एफ रॉड ए बी एंड सी डी हैविंग डायमीटर ऑफ टेन मिलीमीटर एंड रॉड ई एफ हैज अ डायमीटर ऑफ फिफ्टीन मिलीमीटर द स्प्रिंग हैज अ स्टिफनेस ऑफ के हंड्रेड मेगा न्यूटन पर मीटर एंड इज अन स्ट्रेच वेन पी इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो यू कैन सी दिस इज अंगर दैट कंसिस्ट ऑफ दिस थ्री रॉड्स दैट आर ट्वेंटी फोर्टीन टी सिक्स एल्यूमिनियम इलाई एंड दिस टू बीम्स एंड दिस इज स्प्रिंग सो वेन पी लोड इज अप्लाइड टू इट सो यू हैव टू फाइंड द डिसप्लेसमेंट ऑफ दिस पॉइंट एफ विद रिस्पेक्ट टू ए इट इज नॉट गिवन बट बट वी विल टेक दिस एज अ रेफरेंस सो वी विल मैयर दिस डिसप्लेसमेंट ऑफ पॉइंट एफ विद रिस्पेक्ट टू पॉइंट ए ऑल द गिवन डेटा इज ऑलरेडी मैंशन ओवर हेयर सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द सोल्यूशन सो वी जनरली नो दैट डिसप्लेसमेंट इज इक्वल टू फोर्स इन टू एल डिवाइड बाई ए इन टू ई सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल फाइंड द फोर्सिस इन ईज रॉड दैट इज वट वी कॉल इंटरनल लोडिंग सो इंटरनल लोडिंग फॉर इंटरनल लोडिंग वी हैव टू फाइंड द नॉर्मल फोर्सिस द नॉर्मल फोर्सिस डिवेलप फोर्सिस डिवेलप्ड इन रॉड इन रॉड ए बी सी डी एंड ई एफ सो फॉर दैट वी विल ड्रॉ वी विल कट द बीम फर्स्ट वी विल कट द बीम ओवर हेयर दैट इज आवर फर्स्ट वन सो वैन यू कट इट सो इट विल लुक लाइक इट सो देर इज अ फोर्स ऑफ पी दैट इज एक्टिंग डाउनवर्ड सो इन आर्डर टू कीप इट इन इक्वलिब्रम दिस फोर्स पी ई एफ विल बी इक्वल टू सेम बट इन अपोजिट डायरेक्शन सो इट विल बी P is given as sixty kilo newton, so it will be also equal to sixty kilo newton. Now, when you cut, uh, if you want to find the uh, forces in rod A, B, and C, so you have to cut it over here. So when you cut it, it will be like this. This will be equal to P A B, and this will be equal to P C D. and the load that is acting downward is p which is 60 kilo newton so in order to counterbalance it see this p will be divided by this two so it will be 30 kilo newton and this will be also equal to 30 kilo newton and you can see that this load is applied over here so due to this the top portion of this will apply the load on the spring and this bottom so so the spring force f spring will be equal to minus p that will be compressive that will cause the spring to compress that is equal to minus 60 kilo newton now we have internal loading in each rod as well in spring so we will find the areas as well so area of rod E F is equal to pi by four d E F square. So pi by four pi by four diameter of d E F is given as fifteen millimeter. So in meter it 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 will be zero point zero one five and it will be square. So when you calculate it, will be fifty six point two i into ten to the power minus six times pi. You can calculate it by using calculator. So you will get this area of rod A B is equal to area of rod C D because both have same diameter that is ten millimeter. So it will be pi by four. Then in meter it is zero point zero one meter, so it will be square, and it will give you twenty five into ten to the power minus six times pi, and unit will be meter square. Now we know the length of uh, length of E F and length of E B is equal to length of C D length of E F is four fifty millimeter, so it is zero point four five 
0 meter and again this length is a b and c d is also 0 0.450 0. clear and uh, what we have we have internal loading we have length we do not know e so for the material 2014 t6 aluminium alloy so you have to go to the end of the book and you will find you can check here once a minute you will find the you can see the first in first line 2014 t so its modulus of elasticity will be 13.6 uh, 73.1 gigapascal so 73.1 so note down 73.1 73.1 giga pascal now you have all the value you can calculate change of point f with respect to point e so we are only just talking about this point change of this point with respect to point e in rod ef so it will be equal to pef into lef divided by aef into e so p is a uh, 60 kilonewton so 60 into 10 to power 3 length is 450 millimeter so if you are working with millimeter so you have to put 450 clear divide by area which is uh, 56.25 into 10 to the power minus 6 into e is 73.1 into 10 to the power 9 gigapascal so you have to change this length into meter as well because all other values are in meter so when you calculate it you will get this change in length is 0 0.291 millimeter since it is positive so it means that uh, this point f goes downward clear same is the case change in length of b with respect to a so you are talking about generally you are talking about these points b with respect to a and same is the case with d with respect to c but both are of the same material and same length so we will take only one so p b which is you can see that this is 30 kilonewton so 30 into 10 to the power 3 multiply by length which is 0 0.450 divided by area which is 25 into 10 to the power minus 6 times pi here we have also pi okay multiply by e which is 73.1 into 10 to the power 9 so when you calculate it will be 2.3514 millimeter since it is also positive that it means that there is elongation so b points move away from a towards downward now due to spring force spring force spring force we have f spring is equal to k into change of e with respect to b so because this spring force this e points move with respect to b and it moves downward so this we will find this uh, deflection so this deflection e with respect to b is equal to f of spring divided by k so f of spring is minus 60 kilonewton so minus 16 to 10 to the power 3 clear and K we have been given K is 100 mega Newton per meter so in term of 100 Newton per millimeter so it will be 100 into 10 to the power 3 100 into 10 to the power 3 okay so let me check okay here 10 is to power 6 
newton per meter so if we check a 10 to the power 3 divided by 10 to the power 3 into newton so 100 kilo newton per meter so this will cut with this and uh, this zero with cut so we will left with minus 0 0.6 and the unit will be in millimeter because the k unit we have put is newton per millimeter okay now we will find uh, also this negative sign shows that e points move downward toward b because this this will compress so it means that e points move toward downward now total deflection of point f with respect to point a is equal to displacement this displacement let me show you this displacement this displacement as well as the displacement in rod eb the displacement in rod a b and c d are same since and this displacement plus this displacement so i will write displacement of b with respect to a plus displacement of e with respect to f plus displacement of e with respect to b so put the value 2.3514 plus 2.0901 plus 0 0.6 all the displacements are downward here moving this point f so when you calculate it, it will be 5.04 millimeter and that will be downward and this was all about this problem 4-16 i hope you have enjoyed this video subscribe my channel for further videos and if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you